Hi, my name is Monica. In this video, I am in Cape Coast, Ghana, in Hans Cottage Hotel. The interesting thing about it is that they have crocodiles there. So when you're going to have your breakfast, which is what we are doing here right now, you will come across crocodiles, most likely. The restaurant is on water and the crocodiles are in the water. Well, they do come out though, and you can actually touch them. I did that, but let me show you instead of telling you. I'm ready to face the crocodiles. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are you ready for the crocodiles? Yes, I am. How close do they go? <laughs> Tell me if she runs and bites. But she's watching, like she's so like. Yeah, waiting for the tail. I was about to try. Yeah, it wants to um. Oh, you're going by. Uh oh. Is she coming or going? Going. Going. Going no, where? It's coming, it's coming to the stick because the stick, that's where the thing is, isn't it? Look, the way she walks, man. I. I... <laughs> So dodgy, look at this dodgy walk, look at this dodgy walk. The birds are interesting as well. Well, but she's still there. Look, the crocodile is still there. The one should play. <laughs> With you, I think. She's so crazy. Crocodiles all over the place. Don't go now. Look into the mouth. Look into the door. Look into the door. Hey. You see the door? Yeah, yeah, I see. So there was this huge crocodile called Saddam. Um, I wanted to touch that one so much, but unfortunately he did not want to come out of the water. But I was able to touch the other crocodiles, which were not as big as Saddam, but they were big enough. Um, it was a very interesting experience. Little crocodile. Since then, I've read somewhere that lizards are actually related to snakes and birds, not crocodiles. In Ghana, you have the lizards everywhere. Um, I actually had to shower with mm. one. Um, apparently, you are not supposed to try to catch them because if you do, they might bite you. Uh, they will bite you. As much as the crocodiles are trained, no, no, they Monica, can they, react. Don't, don't agitate them for them to react. They can react, yeah. You, you probably just lose a limb. Just lose a limb. Yeah. That's just. You did not die. You lose the limb. Yeah, but you need your limbs, both of them, isn't it? Yeah, true. Oh, well, you still feel the crocodile in your hand, right? I still feel the, you know, the adrenaline. When you look at those crocodiles, the way they walk, like you can see dodginess in their walk, right? Yeah, it's like you can very... tell that their nature is not. You know, you can tell they are, they are, they are beasts. You can tell they are beasts, you can tell they are crocodiles, they are not human. I admit, when I was listening to my conversation uh, later on, I did realize that it wasn't one of my brightest moments. Yes, I know we have four limbs, not two. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out that crocodiles are not human. Yeah, I realized that was not my brightest moment. This way we the that I don't Oh, I'm talking about crocodiles and you're reminding me of that horrific experience. That wasn't it because it wasn't 15. Monica, it was here. Oh. We were in 15, weren't we? Were in we were 18, oh. We were in 115 in the other place. We were in 18 here. Yeah. You don't want to talk about crocodiles, fine. The first crocodile you brought here, name is Saddam. Then we have bed to here. The bed, they came in 1999. Wow. When they came here, some died, some survived, and some lay extra. Mm -hmm. And the crocodile, they are 90 over here. 
19. Yeah, 19 wow. crocodile. Then they feed themselves because we have fish in the river, ah. the water inside. And so they catch them, they feed themselves. Then you to feed them with chicken. It's not full chicken, pieces of chickens. Mm -hmm. The way they can spray with human beings, if you give them full water, you are training them the way they can catch human beings. Really? Yeah. And so if you give them pieces, uh, they can't. And uh, then you can catch him too, but you can't sit on it. Yeah, they are very smart. Right. Yeah, but it depends how you train them. Mm. And so this place, all boys are here, they know everyone here. Right. Yeah, then if you call them, they will come. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But why did you choose to do this as a job? Oh, why? Because some people are interested in that. And, but do you enjoy it? Do you love it? Yes. Do you love spending time with them? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> no, it, you're amazing. So when I was talking to the crocodile trainer, um, Francis, he told me that once upon a time, there was no fence between um, the crocodiles and the guests of the hotel, hotel. And um, the crocodiles would sometimes come out. And when people were trying to get to their rooms, they would meet the crocodiles right on their path and they would get scared so they started complaining the crocodiles are not uh, aggressive but um, they are crocodiles so people started complaining and that's when um, a fence was created with that said you can still come across those creatures and um, especially if you go to the crocodile garden which people do you they can come out and you can literally be facing a crocodile like right there right in front of you and the first crocodile name is saddam saddam is 47 yeah. years mm -hmm. the big one that yeah, came the out they one. didn't want to come out yeah wow. that's amazing what's your name saddam your name is saddam francis. your name is francis yeah. nice meeting you